Hey kids! We're looking at the book of 1 Corinthians and this week we're in 1 Corinthians chapter 9. And in the book of 1 Corinthians we've seen how Paul is writing to the Christians who live in Corinth to remind them that if they trust Jesus then everything about their lives is going to change. He tells them that if they know the gospel, the good news about Jesus, then they are going to start looking at their world through their gospel glasses. And in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, Paul writes that if you love Jesus, you will want to change. You will want to change to make it as easy as possible for others to love Jesus too. I'm going to read from 1 Corinthians chapter 9 and in this part Paul tells us the reason why he is willing to change. He says, I do all of this because of the good news. I do it so that I can share in the blessings of the good news. Paul was willing to change so that the good news could be spread. But I wonder what kind of change he's talking about. What would this change look like? How about I tell a story to help us understand what Paul is talking about. Deep in the Australian bush lived cockatoo and kangaroo. Cockatoo and kangaroo were good friends and today they were off to their club meeting. Cockatoo and kangaroo were very excited. They loved getting together with all the other animals. Suddenly they heard a voice call out. They looked down and there crawling along the ground was Echidna. Echidna had heard the animals talk about the club and wanted to come along, but he'd never been to the club before. Kangaroo and cockatoo stopped and thought for a moment. Wombat had said that everyone was welcome to join the club and that they should do everything possible to help other animals come along. Just then Cockatoo got all excited and began to fly around. Ark, ark, it's easy, you just fly up here with me and we'll go together. Echidna got all excited and tried very hard to fly up in the air, but nothing happened. Cockatoo looked confused. Echidna couldn't fly. He didn't know what else to do. Just then, Kangaroo got all excited and began to hop around. Boing, boing, it's easy, just hop along next to me and we'll go together. Echidna got all excited and tried very hard to hop up and down, but nothing happened. Kangaroo looked confused. If Echidna couldn't fly, he didn't know what else he could do. Cockatoo and Kangaroo looked down at Echidna. Echidna couldn't fly and Echidna couldn't hop. How was he going to get to the club? So Cockatoo decided it was best to tell Echidna how to walk to the club. So Cockatoo and gave Echidna some helpful directions. Ark, ark, go up the big hill to the river, follow the river down to the big tree, turn right, no, left. Go up the little hill till you get to the big rock and that's where we meet. Got it? Good, we'll see you there. And with that, cockatoo and kangaroo waved goodbye. Poor Echidna was so confused. Cockatoo had spoken so fast, he couldn't remember which way to go. So Echidna gave up. Meanwhile, cockatoo and kangaroo were the first to arrive at the club meeting. They were very proud of themselves. Just then, Wombat arrived. Wombat looked around. I heard Echidna wanted to come along to the club today. Didn't he come with you? Cockatoo explained how he tried to teach Echidna to fly, but Echidnas can't fly. Kangaroo explained how he tried to teach Echidna to hop, but Echidnas can't hop. So they gave him some very helpful directions and they expected him any minute. Wombat shook his head. Echidnas can't fly and echidnas can't hop, but kangaroos and cockatoos can walk on the ground. Cockatoo and kangaroo were shocked. Walk along the ground, but that would be so slow. Why, they'd be as slow as echidna. 
Wombat nodded. As slow as Echidna. Cockatoo and Kangaroo turned around and walked back to find Echidna. See kids, in that story, Cockatoo and Kangaroo were the ones who needed to change. They needed to walk along the ground just like Echidna so that they could make it as easy as possible for Echidna to come and join their club. And kids, if you love Jesus, then you will be the one who needs to change so that others can hear about Jesus too. Others who are yet to hear the good news that Jesus died on a cross and rose again. We will change to make it as easy as possible for them to come along so that our friends, just like you, can turn and put their trust in Jesus. So how about we pray and ask God to help us do this. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for Jesus. Thank you that he died on a cross and rose again so that we can be your friends forever. Please help us to be willing to change so that our friends can hear about you. Please help them to turn away from their sin and put their trust in Jesus, just like we have. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. See you later.